This aircraft behind me is the X-35B Joint Strike Fighter, known simply as the JSF. This plane was the first aircraft in history to make short takeoff, level supersonic flight, and vertical landing all in the same trip. Here to talk with me about her experiences as a pilot of a different kind of vertical short takeoff and landing airplane, the Harrier, is Major Jenna Dolan. Thanks for being here, Major Dolan. Of course, happy to be here. So when you were a kid, did you dream of becoming a pilot? Oh, absolutely I did. I can remember as far back as being seven or eight and seeing airplanes and thinking, yep, that's what I'm gonna do. I definitely wanna be a pilot. So what inspired you to become a fighter pilot? Well, I actually come from a family of pilots. Both my father and my oldest brother were jet pilots in the Marine Corps. So as I was growing up, I heard about what they did and I saw what they did and I thought it just looked like a whole lot of fun. Tell me about your career. What kind of missions have you flown? Uh, well, most notably, I've done two combat tours to Iraq and flown several different types of missions, uh, but most commonly uh, reconnaissance flights and close air support flights. So during reconnaissance flights, we search a specific area or route to make sure that there's nothing hazardous there for our troops on the ground. And during close air support flights, we support our troops on the ground using a variety of weapons. What kind of training did you go through? Military flight training is pretty extensive. After college, I spent two years in flight training and was trained in three different types of aircraft. And then I spent almost a year learning how to fly the Harrier before I was actually considered a fully qualified Harrier pilot. So what advice do you have for students or young people who want to learn how to fly as civilian pilots or in the military? Uh, a few things. Um, the first, don't shy away from subjects like math, science, and computers. Having a background in those subjects will really help you understand some basic things like how an airplane works, how an airplane flies, um, you know, things like navigation. Uh, you know, there's some basic math skills that will help you there. Also, play sports, um, specifically sports that require hand-eye coordination and spatial orientation. So think about things like baseball. You need to know where the ball is, know where the bat is, and be able to connect the bat with the ball. It requires hand-eye coordination. And uh, think about things like gymnastics and diving. You need to know where your body is in relation to the vertical, and you need to know where your body is in relation to the ground, so spatial orientation. Um, and just sports in general will help you uh, prepare for just the basic physical rigors of being a jet pilot. Also, uh, something that you kids are very good at nowadays is multitasking. So just being able to do various things at the same time. Think about while you're flying, you need to do some very basic things all at the same time. You need to talk on the radio, you need to uh, fly the airplane, and you need to just think about what you're doing. So anytime you can practice activities um, that require you know, doing several things at the same time, for instance, you know, you're texting or you're talking on your cell phone, and you're you know, doing that while you're watching TV and doing your homework, you're, you're practicing doing multiple things at the same time. So that, believe it or not, is going to um, give you more of an aptitude um, to be a pilot because you're learning how to multitask. So you'll be better prepared once you get behind the controls of an airplane one day. Awesome, so next time my mom asks me to turn off the TV while I'm doing my homework, I can tell her I'm training to be a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing your story with us, Major Dolan. Absolutely, very happy to be here. Thanks for having me.